Welcome to the Gary Lynch Show with me, Gary Lynch. These are the stories that piqued my interest today. First up, in stupid parent news, a four-year-old girl in America took 250 bags of heroin, which she thought was candy, into school, which she took from around the house that her mum had stashed. You should be ashamed of yourself, love. When the girl got to school, she started passing it around like candy, as you do when you're a kid. Once the teacher suspected what it actually was, they quickly took it all off them. <clears throat> they called the police, got them down, investigated, got the woman arrested, and the kids taken to hospital as a precaution, but they were all right in the end. But the child's mother is never allowed to see her or her other two kids ever again. Crackhead. Next up, in Shanghai, what's the last thing you expect a bouncy castle to do? A massive bouncy castle in the town centre has flipped upside down with at least 30 kids inside, injuring about 12 of them and seriously injuring one little girl who had a fractured head and a fractured eye socket. Ouch. The little girl is currently in intensive care. Not critical, but they say she'll be alright in a couple of weeks. The good news is the company that made the bounty castle and placed it in that particular part of the city have took blame on themselves and they said they'd pay for all the medical treatment. They underestimated how strong the winds would be around that area. Silly mistake, but they've learned from it and it will never happen again, hopefully. Next up, we all know Modern Family, don't we? Sarah Hyland has filed a restraining order against her ex-boyfriend after he allegedly became abusive physically and mentally in their relationship. Now, she broke it up in August. Ironically enough, Julie Bowen, who plays her mum on Modern Family, actually helped her end the relationship and get her sorted out. Now, her ex-boyfriend, Matt Prokop, who you know from High School Musical Free and other crap, is not allowed to contact her, see her in public or anything, visit her house or even see the dog for three years. And reports suggest he's currently in rehab. What's wrong with him? They've got a gorgeous girlfriend. They have to do that to him. Kids, again, don't do drugs. And lastly, in a bit of sad news, but with a good ending, so stay with me, an abandoned dog who was left to be put down after the owners who were moving away and could no longer take care of it. They gave it to a veterinarian after weeks on social media trying to get rid of the dog, trying to give him a new home. No luck. And he had injured paws and all sorts of bad stuff. He went to put him down. He'd done everything right, including the dosage. Put him down, thought no more of it. Went home, come back the next day. And the little dog was there, happy as Larry. After this shocking turnabout, the veterinarian called the dog Lazarus from the Bible. His staff are still unsure how he survived, but apparently he's fully healed now. And they've actually found him a new home in Alabama. And that's it for today's show. If you liked it, please hit the like button. If if you really like to hit the subscribe button down below, don't forget to check out my previous videos. I appreciate the support and I'll see you tomorrow.